Hello everybody, Mark Pierce, StarTech Marketing. In today's quick walkthrough, we're taking a look at Auto Run, and this is a application that's provided free by Sys Internals. So if you need more information, go to sysinternals.com. Now I wanted to briefly give you a quick walkthrough of what the interface looks like and some of the uh, tactics that the malware hackers are using to infiltrate our, infiltrate our systems. So now please be advised do not delete anything here with these registry marks or do not delete anything in the interface unless you know that it is safe to do so. StarTech Marketing will not be liable if you do do that. So be very careful, okay? So I just wanted to show you under the uh, Everything tab. And the reason why you want to start here is it'll open up everything in your computer. What's so nice about this is if you look at each area, you're going to have to take a look at each item and entry because a lot of times uh, the system will show you, like right here, you'll see a yellow highlighted section under Internet Explorer and if you notice here it says file not found and it'll give you the name of the file and a lot of times some of these files are legitimate other times they're not legitimate so be careful before you uncheck now one of the things that this if you look into the help files which is located up here if you need help make sure you read through this also check out your file and entry options user and of course your help file. So take time to read through that as well. And don't just delete anything, okay? So in this case, the first thing the instructions say is when you find a file that possibly could be malware that's not invited on your system, it'll be highlighted yellow like in this instance or red. So in this case, I know that I want to get rid of this. I did my homework. I would Google the name of the file and find out and do your research prior to uh, deleting it. But in this case you could do two things. You can you can either uncheck this box here, you can uncheck, and then once you uncheck it that'll stop it from auto starting when your computer reboots. This is how the malware and the hacker gets their sys stuff to run automatically without you knowing about it. Now in this case I know it's safe so I'm gonna go ahead and highlight it, right click, and I'm gonna actually delete it. Okay? And it's gone. Now as we scroll through, again, take the time to read each one of these because if you don't recognize some of the software, it's most likely that's because it's not invited and it's probably a piece of malware. And, and if you're not sure, just take the name of the file which is available down here at the base. For instance, if you highlight it here, uh, the file name with details will appear at the bottom of the screen. I would go ahead and go to the bottom of the screen and actually it tells you your registry key, the date, the size, and the file name. I'd start with highlighting this file name and going out to Google and researching it. Just make sure you do not delete anything because uh, it could crash your system without first knowing what you're deleting or unchecking. If you uncheck this box, that will not delete it. It'll just stop it from automatically loading until you do more research. That's your choice, okay? Now, as we scroll down, I'm just going to quickly look through my list and this again is just an introduction only. Now I found one down here that is actually called gathernetworksinfo.vbs. Now I know for a fact this is actually a malicious script and I wanted to leave this here. This is a secondary computer that I have in my office here. So I know it's not gathering in any information but it could. So the first thing I know would do is I would go ahead and highlight it. I would grab this uh, gather uh, gather internet um, works.info.vbs and I go out to the internet research and I happen to know that this is already uh, a malicious file so what I'm going to do is uncheck it here then I'm going to highlight the file itself right click on it and delete it now even if it does that it gets rid of it okay so you notice the file is now gone and as I scroll through the list I happen to know this one's highlighted red, but it's actually okay. I did a little homework on that. Oh, actually, I take that back. This one can be deleted. Let me uncheck that. It says access denied. That's not true. So it's trying to trick me. So I want to go ahead and right click and delete it. Okay, and it's the other one that's okay. This one's fine here. So that's the one I meant to keep. And I went ahead and scrolled to the bottom. Looks like that's all I have on my first list. Now there's quite a bit more to do. So this is just video one. Wanted to uh, show you the everything uh, tab only. 
And in our next video, we'll go ahead and go through the other tabs in part two. Mark Pierce, StarTech Marketing. Have a great day.